Greetings, pod fans. It's day five of Pod Vida. Put videos himself every day in April. And today, I want to talk about tattoos. Because if you were watching last year, I did a big list of things that I wanted to do once quarantine was done and we could go outside and do things again. And one of these things, of course, was to get more tattoos. So in September, there was a chance, there was a little tiny chance where tattoo studios and tattoo people were allowed to do that. So I went and I finally got a tattoo that I've been thinking about and wanting and knowing that I wanted it for about two years. And this is a mirror of a tattoo that I got quite a while ago. Um, it was my first like big tattoo, my first big fancy tattoo. And that was of course the duck on my right calf. It's beautiful, it's artistic, it says I quack under pressure, there's, there's nothing else that explains me as a person as well as this tattoo. And around the time I got that I was thinking about other tattoos that I wanted and knew that I needed to get like a mirror or like something in a similar style with an animal and I decided on a stag. So in September I did it. I went. It took hours. I was absolutely destroyed after it. Um, I, yeah, my entire like life was drained. But I got my stag tattoo and it says buck the police. Obviously there's no, you know, clearly no political agenda there. That'd be weird. But yeah, it was the best pun that I could think of. That's mostly the reason. <laughs> but yes, I've got that on my leg. And I think today I'm just going to talk about what else I want. Because I have a list and I've had it. It's the same list I've had for a long time. But I don't really talk about it often. So let's just go through it. And we'll like have fun. Dudes. So first of all on the list is a quote that I want to get maybe on my heart. Um, it's, yes, I'm afraid of heights, but I'm not afraid to fly. It's from a John Bellion song. Uh, if you've been watching for a little while, he's my like favorite artist in the world. It's between that and I hit him with the boots in July, bitch I don't need snow. So it's either something real like motivational sounding or something stupid about wearing boots in July not needing snow. Next on the list it says Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. They're my favorite Pokemon in the world, so I want to get a tattoo that incorporates the three of them. The idea is kind of like this thing, um, but I would prefer to work with like my tattoo man and see if he can make something that uh, works better or like isn't just straight up stealing or using something that I found on the internet. Then is the fire energy uh, symbol from the fire you know, Pokemon trading card game, remember that? Um, the fire energy, like the circle with the flame in it, uh, that specifically, just fire type Pokemon are my favorite. Like, you know, I've got specific favorite Pokemon, but in general, just fire types would be the best. Next of all, it just says snake. I don't exactly have a whole load of plans, maybe a big circle around my uh, my ankle or something like that, but I want to get a snake uh, because I'm a dirty Slytherin. Pottermore told me so, like, I have to just live with that and that's my entire life. Next up we have the Ceylondian symbol, which looks a little like this. It's a gear, a gear? Yeah, a gear, with a uh, rope going around it. It is the symbol of the Ceylondians from Bastion. So Bastion is my favorite game in the entire world, uh, made by the same people who made Hades, and they also made a lot of other games, uh, Transistor, Pyre, and I think that's that's it. But yes, they are. it's such a good game. It has been my favorite game for a long time, and yeah, I want to get something to commemorate that, and I don't know what I'll do with it, but maybe something cool. Next it just says Tyr. Yes, I'm a big loser who likes Vikings and stuff, but Tyr is my favorite god. Uh, he just has one arm because petting dags. That's not the story, but I prefer to explain it that way. So probably something to do with the symbol, the like arrow. That is a terrible way to show it, but yeah, um, something to do with that or I don't know, something similar. I'll incorporate it somehow. The next is the phrase, have no regrets and live for the day, which I really like the idea of because it sounds like live, laugh, love, carpe diem, that kind of stuff, but it's an ailstorm lyric have no regrets and live for the day at Nancy's Harbour Cafe. I just love the idea of getting, you know, this thing that looks really motivational and like, oh yeah, live life to the best. And it's like, yeah, it's my fucking pirate metal band. <laughs> the next one just says shoe, which uh, if you know me, you 100% know what that has to do with. It's to do with a bar that I frequent or frequented back in the before times. The next one says, take it easy. Um, this was a stupid, stupid idea that I had. Uh, so something like, 
take it easy or remember stay calm or something really like um you know deep breaths everyone that kind of thing but in a death metal font so you know it looks like a band name and it's all like scratchy and stuff but it's really just a super nice message uh yeah i'd have to work on what exactly to write but i think that's stupid you know someone sees this like aggressive text with all the lines and they're like oh wow what does that say oh what band is that and i'm like oh no it just reminds me to take it easy <laughs> have a break have a kit cat you know <laughs> yes i i don't really care about i just like tattoos that i think are good for me and finally it says cartoon pastel skull so i really like the idea of cartoony skulls um, this was an idea, if you know of Jeff Ramsey of Rooster Teeth, he has a collection called Pop Sick. I have one of the t-shirts, I'm pretty sure I've worn it in the video already, but it's like, you know, a popsicle, but it's a skull, and it makes me really enjoy uh, the look of things. Actually, I have something similar on a skateboard that I found online and bought one moment. This is in a similar style uh, by a different artist. Uh, I saw it and I really liked it, so yes, I have a skateboard, in case you didn't know. But I really like the idea of skulls and like cool things, but in pastel colours and thick lines so they look super cartoony. Because uh, I think everyone who gets a lot of tattoos has at least one skull, and yeah, I think pastel colours and cartoonish vibes just, just fits me as a person. But yeah, that's uh, all of my list. Um, I think there's other things that I've gotten rid of because I was just like, I put this in here just because it would be funny. I've decided I'm going to start putting a call to action. If you don't know what that is, it's, you know, when people ask questions and they're like, let me know in the comments. Yeah, um, I've gotten really interested in the idea of like engagement and people asking things. So I'm going to start asking questions at the end of videos and I'm going to be transparent about it. So either what's your favorite tattoo? Do you ever plan on getting tattoos? And if so, what? <sighs> And uh, if neither of those two apply, uh, what did you have for lunch? Was it good? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm interested in seeing just reach and stuff like that, and if it's affected by comments. Apparently it is, but we'll see based on views and stuff. But thank you for watching. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. Hopefully it has a, like it's a window into my mind and shows you how just stupid I am when it comes to things. But I hope you're enjoying your Monday. Um, hmm, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Slow.